We need our whole society to be secure. Joe was brutally murdered here 24 hours ago in this town, a town she loved, a town she grew up in, serving a community she loved. And in her life, she'd worked for anti-slavery campaigns, she'd worked for Oxfam, she was a campaigner for human rights and justice all around the world. She was taken from us in an act of hatred, in a vile act that has killed her. It's an attack on democracy, what happened yesterday. It's the well of hatred that killed her. She leaves behind a husband who made a truly wonderful statement yesterday. A statement saying that in her memory we would try to conquer hatred with love and with respect. She also leaves behind two young children who will never see their mother again. They will only be able to grow up knowing what she was, what she stood for and what she achieved. I've asked the Prime Minister and the Speaker for the recall of Parliament on Monday and they've ac accepted that request and Parliament will be recalled on Monday so that we can pay due tribute to her on behalf of everybody in this country who values democracy, values the right of free speech and values the right of political expression free from the kind of brutality that Joe suffered. That's why we all need to come together to understand that everyone must have protection and security in order to function in a democratic society. Jo was an exceptional, wonderful, very talented woman, taken from us in her early 40s when she had so much to give and so much of her life ahead of her. It's a tragedy beyond tragedy what has happened yesterday. In her memory, we will not allow those people that spread hatred and poison to divide our society. We will strengthen our democracy, strengthen our free speech. She was a truly wonderful woman. I'm deeply sorry, deeply sad of what has happened to her. And my condolences to all the people of Batley and Span, who she represented so well, and of course to her wonderful family, her husband, her children, and all of her wider family.